Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, a couple of days ago, I uploaded a comparison between Unreal Engine 5.3 deprecated ray tracing reflections to Unreal Engine 5.4 Lumen with hardware ray tracing. And I got some pretty interesting results. And one of the things that y'all wanted to see was a comparison between Lumen and path tracing in Unreal Engine 5.4 using the same scene. So that being said, let's go ahead and go to the Vinci Resolve real quick, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. So that's pretty much the video. Now, a couple of things that we changed here. Y'all wanted to see uh, the comparison this time around with volumetric fog turned off. So you're going to notice that we don't have fog at all in this comparison because some of y'all thought like, hey, maybe the creeping in and the reflection is the fog somehow. But as you can see here, even with the volumetric fog turned off, screen traces, again, to me, is not going to be usable for cinematics and animation. Video games is probably going to be okay because, again, you can see right here, even with hit light bouncing, screen chase is turned on, it's still creeping in and out as far as the reflection goes. And what's interesting about this is, I, I mean, I got to say, right, if we look at the actual comparison here, I will have to give it to Epic at what they're trying to do here. Honestly, yes, Lumen does not have the proper reflections, but if you look at the rendering time difference between Lumen hardware ray tracing with screen traces off so it doesn't creep in, two minutes, 12 seconds on the 4090, 1440p, all right? And that's like 16 samples. Unreal Engine 5.4 path tracing, 1024 samples per pixel at 1080p is two hours and 10 minutes, same frames, right? This is crazy. And, and I know the reflection is not as perfect in the Lumen version with screen traces off, but at the same time, dude, if I had a scene like this, because again, there's really no one setting, it's all scene by scene basis, but if I had a scenario like this, and I have a sur hard surface car or robot or whatever in the scene, I'm gonna choose Lumen hardware ray tracing. There's just no point for me to choose path tracing in this type of scenario right here because this Lumen looks really freaking good for a two minute, 12 second render, right? And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all agree with me on that. So yes, it's not perfect, but dude, this is crazy. And I know I posted something on social media and YouTube community comparing these two, and the answer is gonna be path tracing on the right and Lumen on the left. And it really gives it away in the, in the reflection shadows. That's pretty much it in this scenario. That's the only thing that can kind of separate these two. And it's funny because I was reading the comments on Instagram, Twitter, and, and YouTube. A lot of people thought that path tracing was on the left. There's only like a handful of people who got it right, really. And that's good for Lumen. If we are at that point where we can't even tell the difference between a two minute, 12 second render and a two hour, 10 minutes, that's very good. Very, very good in Lumen. And what's funny about this is in Unreal Engine 5.5, Lumen is getting more settings that I think is going to be amazing. Um, and obviously, we'll cover that here on the channel. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show this to you all because some of y'all wanted to see how it compares to path tracing. But in my opinion, 
it's doing pretty darn good so far. And by the way, this is hardware ray tracing. So this is with a hardware lumen in the project settings. This is not software. So, you know, if you're trying this out, make sure you have hardware ray tracing turned on. That being said, that's pretty much it for this video, man. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. I think we're like 400 away. So pretty exciting stuff. Again, thank you for all your support. I know we have a lot more Unreal Engine YouTubers nowadays, but thank you for sticking with me and hanging and hanging out with me for a long time. Peace out.